Dun, 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 dun. The Pinterest repin module for Mass Planner. <laughs> Guys, you see all these boards that I have here, right? This is how you build up Pinterest accounts, Pinterest boards, all right? Let me show you really quick. So I'll take one of my boards here, all right, under the repin module. Okay, I'll click on affiliate tools you can earn with. So you see it stopped now. I haven't, I don't have this started. I'll just show you how it works. All right, so under the settings, by default, Mass Planner is set to repin five times per day, okay, between the hours of 12 a.m. and 11.59 p.m. Okay, you see the hours that it's set to do that here. This is five times. Okay, if I bump this up, okay, it's going to add more times, all right? You can randomize the timers, okay, the publishing times per day. Okay, you can randomize the number of pins, repins, should I say, per day, okay? So you can, if you, if you have, like, say, for instance, depending on where you're getting your sources from, if you have larger boards, of course, you may have a larger selection of pens to repin from, so you may want to adjust these settings here. And this is something that, like I said, join the Facebook, join the Mass Planner Facebook group, or just contact me and I'll help you with this information, or Google, <laughs> all right? So all these things can be done manually, guys, but if you want to do this in an automated fashion using an awesome tool like Mass Planner, this just makes it so much simpler. All right, so it's going to repin between one and five pins per day. Okay, that's default. So I can, I, you can adjust that. Um, repin items that have been, that have between zero and 2,000 likes. Repin items that have between zero and 2,000, or sorry, yeah, 2,000, um, no, that's 20,000 in a 20,000 repins. Okay. Guys, this is something that I, I know a lot of you, once I tick this, are you looking at this and you're like, okay, what is this enable source URL to assign URLs to some repins? Huh. Let me show you. All right. So if I tick this, I have the opportunity of telling Mass Planner when you repin a print, the source URL or the direction wherever you're directing that pen to, or whatever, like when you click on that pen, that 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 image that is a pen, like that picture of a piece of food or something like that. I don't want you to go to the page that it's initially supposed to go to. I want you to go to a different page. So let me um, let me give you a quick example of that. So what Mass Planner will allow you to do, okay, and this is kind of like some stealthy stuff here, and I, I, I shouldn't be telling you guys this, but I guess I can tell you. All right, so what Mass Planner will do is, um, let me refresh the page. If you guys don't know, I've told you this before, um, Mass Planner uses an embedded browser. Okay, good one. And with Mass Planner's embedded browser, sometimes, you know, this page will, Mass Planner will be doing other functions so that this page may not load. If it doesn't load, just click here where it says click to open Pinterest or whatever um, item that you may be on at that time. All right, so what we can do here, guys, um, make sure enable manual browsing is done. Okay, what we can do here is, you see how it has an image here? All right, if I repin this to one of my boards, and let me actually go to the board um, and show you. See, I'm, I'm letting you guys into everything here, and I shouldn't be, but hey, I like you guys, I think. Um, <laughs> so that board is, uh, da, 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 da. affiliate marketing tool, affiliate tools you can earn with, right? And I only have seven pins. So that's good. That's good. So I'll go here. Okay. And for these pins, um, I think I may have manually put, put these pins here actually. So if I click on one of them, um, which is this one, click on the image. Okay, the actual repin operation will, where it says enable source URLs, I can have Mass Planner change this URL, okay, so that when someone clicks on it, instead of going to whatever URL that was originally there, and I, and I repin from a lot of boards that may be not mine, okay, and that's the reason why I'm telling you this, you can actually change this URL here, okay, and take it to affiliate links, different things like that, all right? So if you're into, um, I don't know, like say for instance, uh, the clothing niche, and you have um, some pins or you, you, you're part of a CPA marketing or you're part of a affiliate program that sells clothes like Amazon or such like that, then you may want to put your Amazon link in here to go to those, you know, a similar item, if you understand what I'm saying, all right? <clears throat> and with that said, you can put URLs in here one per line, okay? And you can set Mass Planner to decide how often it's going to pin or repin, or should I say change that URL? 
So you can set it for 50% of the times, which is half the times that you repin something. It'll change the URL. You can set it to 25% or whatever you want to. You can, you know, you can actually type in a number there. Like you might want it to only do it 6% of the time. But that by default, Mass Planner is set to 50. Okay. Put something in there. All right. And also, if you want to, guys, um, let me untick that. If you want to, you can enable a signature. All right. So you can put something, you know, like your name or your tag or whatever there. And then once again, you can decide how often you're going to um, have that, that signature put on your pins. Okay. Um, override existing pin description by appending to it. Okay. So basically, what's going to happen is the description that's inside of the pin, this could be what you put as a signature. All right. And um, like with hashtags and different things like that, because it's, it's a smart idea to put at least like, what is it, two hashtags on your pen. So that way people will be able to easily find them. And, and that's just a tip for you. OK, so skip double pen check. If check the same pen cannot be repinned multiple times to, on the board. OK, this makes sense. So if it finds a pen that it's going to repin from other boards, because you're going to find a lot of other boards out there that do the same thing, repin from other boards. If it finds the same pin, it won't put it on the same board. Okay, basically that's what that says. All right. Once you have defined the settings that you want to go with, okay, I want to keep doing this. Um, actually, no, we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to show you some of the sources. All right. So you can repin by keywords. Okay, and as I say all the time, you can do comma separate it. Okay. And, or you can repin from boards, all right? So if you find boards, and this is like, guys, I'm gonna tell you, this is the way I do it. Find boards to repin from, because that makes it that much easier, okay? And, and eventually, you're gonna start receiving a lot of requests from people to say, hey, why don't you join my, my board where you can pin some of your pins to my board? And if you're using the feature that I just told you about changing the URL source, and you're repinning stuff from other people's boards anyway, then uh, yeah, that's a pretty good way to um, get traffic to your blog or wherever you're gonna send it to, you know, outside sources in a stealthy type way, all right? Um, Repin from provided list of pens. Okay, if you have pens on a board and you wanna, you just do like, not on a board, but yeah, if you have pens on a board, you take that individual pen and pin them here. So you make a list of those pens and pin those here. Okay, one per line, okay? Also, um, you can repin based on categories, okay? So if you wanna, repin based on animals, then you do that. Okay. And that's, that's what those settings are. But like I said, what I use, um, is mainly repin from boards. Okay. Find some boards that, you know, are in your niche, they may be your boards, maybe others boards and repin from those results. Once again, everything that you've, every action that you've done, you'll see it listed here under results. Okay. Um, and once you've set all of your settings, either check with me, check in the mass planner group on Facebook, or, you know, do some Google researching. Once you're all set, your settings are in place, click here where it says start repin, boom. Pinterest will now love you. Others on Pinterest will now love you. <laughs> all right, speak to you guys again um, with the next video. George Price here. Bye-bye.